watching an LBL review. Cheers. Uh -huh. Thanks, Star. We're going to What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with uh, C the series <clears throat> finale review for the have and the have nots. And man, oh man, Tyler Perry, Porter Tyler Perry. Um, to say the least, it was disappointing. Uh, but in all fairness, like I say, I, 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 I didn't know what he could do. Um, we just had so many storylines still open. I just really did not know what Tyler could do to tie all of it together in a one hour series finale. And it's so disappointing because I thought him and I know Oprah sold the network, but I thought him and Oprah was besties. She should have been able to pick up a phone and say, hey, he need two hours. A minimum two hour slot, but I guess Oprah was just like the rest of us, and she was just like, man, fuck that shit. That shit didn't go off TV. But anyways, um, everybody died except for Hannah, as you know, we all know. And um, I didn't like that only because it was kind of predictable. I believe I said in my review last week of last week's episode that it wouldn't surprise me if Catherine, something happened to Catherine, and uh, Hannah ended up winning. Uh, living, living, and getting all the estate money, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, but to go in more, to go into more detail about it, um, truth be told, just my personal opinion, um, he tried to shoot it like it was a movie as opposed to a TV show, and I think that's why I lost interest in it because the way it went off with. It, it, it felt like the movie he had on Netflix with Felicia Rashad and um, Sissy Lee Tyson, the way it went off. Like, it was just so dramatic. But, okay, let's go down the list. Let's talk about um, Benny dying first. At first, when Benny died, when Benny got shot, I was a little sad. I was like, damn, like, that was kind of cold. Like, I thought Sandy was pussy. Like, you know, it is what it is, but. I guess um, <clears throat> the reason that uh, I was kind of surprised is because I just wasn't expecting for, you know, it to be like, like, damn, like that. Like, he got, he got lit up, but it went to a commercial break, and I was just like, see, I can't even really feel bad for Benny because that's what you get for going after some pussy. The reason you dead it's because it's some pussy. It makes no sense. So that's why he did. Alright. Let's address the whole drive-by shooting. Nobody got shot. Hannah, nor the girl, nor the baby. Piss me the hell off. First off, um, it was just too staged. Um, when 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 Benny and Candace arrived. That place didn't even look like it was shot up if you're asking me. But what do I know? Right? Um, I was disappointed in that. That nobody died. I don't listen. Somebody should have died. It should have been Hannah, but y'all know. Y'all know how I feel about her. But anyways, moving on to Catherine's death. Uh Diamond killed her. Um because of I, I guess. A uh, relative of hers, something happened to, I forget the girl name, but I mean, I was just like, wait a minute now, we doing too much, man. Are we supposed to, we don't even know, I don't even know the, 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 the person that Diamond was talking about. So, why should I even care? It was just, Catherine went out bad, uh, she got killed, then we can go to the whole... Look, while I'm on the Catherine situation, let me just go ahead and put this out here. It made no sense for Catherine to die that damn fast. He could at least gave us a, 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 a scene where the security guards came and broke up something, and then the girl got back to it a little bit later. Like, it was just everybody died so goddamn fast. And I ain't like that. 
Then we move on to Jeffrey. Uh, his daddy, David. David pissed me off because, you know, when the show came on, you know, the uh, EMTs, they was coming. Jeffrey already, don't look at that. Soon as the EMTs come, here come David. I'll go get him, Jim. Jeffrey at the goddamn door. He, he told him to come on in. That piss. I'm like, you goddamn Uncle Tom. I'll go bring him. Jeffrey, right? I was happy to see them die. I'm going to keep it real. Uh, Tanner, it, I mean, but it was just so predictable what was about to happen next. He delivers a box and he walks out and he got them blows up the house with Jeffrey, Madison, and David in it. I look, should have been dead. Moving on to Veronica Dell. She pays the hit man, the hit man, and next thing you know, the two hit men, they hadn't conspired to kill her. And I did not think that that was Veronica. I thought that was that young lady. Uh, Lacey or whatever her name is who's working for Veronica. Um, I just wasn't sure that, that that was Veronica who got shot from behind, but she got killed very fast. Moving on to the whole scene with Mitch, Vinny, and Candace go visit them. You know what I'm saying? Because she trying to see why they sent they goons to her mama houses. Look, I just don't, I wish <sighs> it's it's crazy because uh, the uncle said Mitch has no say so because he does not want to be part of the family, and I'm saying to myself in the moment, say you want to be part of the goddamn family, Mitch. God damn, we need to save Candy. She's supposed to be going to the damn White House. So y'all seen it? They Mitch end up losing his cool because the uncle kept telling them. Shut up, he ain't got no say. And then, you know, he said he owed Jim Cryer a favor, which I don't understand how because he never told Jim that he was going to do it. When Jim came and asked about the money and this and that, he ain't give him no definitive answer. So I don't understand why they delivered Candace to Jim. That really pissed me off. And then they talk about Candace murder. Let's just go ahead and get to it. They deliver, she all beat up. Jim take upstairs and drown her with one damn arm. Um, then Hannah, she was already on her way over there. And she go upstairs and she sees blood dripping. And she see Jim on the jacuzzi. And Jim say, come on in and take a look. And the only reason I had a problem with this scene is because he come on, see? Now you know how I feel. My daughter, dead, and my son dead. Hannah ain't kill your son. Candace ain't kill your daughter. Benny ain't kill neither one of your children. Motherfucker, I don't like. Excuse the MF, but it just pissed me off because his rationale for killing Candace didn't make any sense. Then him and Hannah go at it back and forth. She ended up luckily getting in the car, getting away as he tried to get her. And then she turned around and ran his ass over. And that's how the show went off of her crying and all that shit. Now, let me get to the biggest reason I was disappointed when Hannah survived. Not, not that it's going to happen, but... Oh, and I forgot to mention, it was kind of disappointing that Kennedy, you pregnant for the president and Landon... Instead of trying to get you to talk to them and they ain't got no secret service detail and no spies watching you. I, I, I was a little funny to me. But nevertheless, I felt like if everybody had to die, only one person should have lived. And do y'all want to know who that was? I truly believe that one of Hannah kids should have lived. I would have preferred it to be Candace because we could have had a White House spinoff. Was she up in the White House richer than the more, you know, more focus? She done got Benny money. Well, she might get Benny money to her baby, but she got her money that she took from Jim and now she got Hannah money that she done got from um Catherine. I feel like 
that could have been a great spinoff and she just up in the White House doing gangster shit. I would watch that. But the second reason I feel like it should have been one of Hannah kids because Benny could have got a spinoff. Not that I would be interested in it, but as cheap as his ass is, him with a little money, seeking revenge. Um, and the same thing with Candace. Both of them would be seeking revenge on the Malone family. I just feel like that could be a good TV show for either one of those two. So they're the only two I feel like one of those two or both of those two should have been able to live so we could have saw that. And so I was just, dis and like I said, another reason I was disappointed in the finale is like nobody knows anybody goddamn dead but us. We the only ones who know that everybody is dead. Don't nobody else know. We the only one. And, and you know what I'm saying? That really bothers me because I really feel like if Hannah knew that Benny was dead, uh, it would be different. If 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 Veronica would have known that, well, Veronica probably would have been happy to see um, old boy kill Jeffrey and his daddy. So I can't say. But as far as like Benny and Candace and and old girl Hannah, nobody knows nobody did, and that just disappoints me, man. But like I said, in my opinion, one of Hannah's children should have been able to live so we can get a spinoff of them trying to get revenge on the Malones, but <sighs> it's not going to happen. Tyler let us down. We still got unanswered storylines. Like, what the hell happened to Derek? Was the, was the couple who trying to steal Veronica money, was they successful? Hell, how much money did Veronica even got? The damn steal, I needs to know. Uh, I guess they closed. Jeff ain't really had no storyline. He got to die with his lover. You know, some Michelangelo type shit. Um, uh, Titanic type shit. You die with your lover. Okay, cool. But, uh, I mean, Jim, he didn't really have a storyline. Catherine should have got out of jail. <sighs> Look. Y'all know what it is, man. We was disappointed. Candace didn't make it to the White House. They ain't had nobody telling her to see what was what. But that's all I got. It was disappointing. But Benny, Benny died over some pussy. I'm just not going to get past that one, y'all. But nevertheless, that's all I have. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, share, comment. Leave a comment section in the comment section down there. Let me know what y'all thought of the episode, and I'm going to holler at y'all good folks later. Peace. Hey, appreciate you for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all of the other Arab Beer Review videos.